welcome back programmers in the today's section i'm gonna show you how you can create this search bar in our django site so in my site you can see i created a lots of post but what if user want to search a particular post like this is java or python so let's try to search python so if i search in python and hit enter you can see i got two result found and even i got the title and post a hundred word of post and then dot 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 and when i click on a particular post let's say i want to search this so it is gonna open that post in here you can see that post is opened in here it is gonna redirect it in that particular post so let's try again you can see i got the two python named title post available in my blog site this is the first and the second one is this now let's try to search a single post title what is java so let's try what is java you can see i got this single title and the example of post so let's try on click you can see it is gonna redirect me to the dead post so how you can do it so obviously you have to create this search bar dot html in your templates and create the search bar form in your blog home html or whenever you want to create the search bar you can see i created the search bar in my blog home site in my blog home page so this is my form form action equal to url search bar now what is this url this is this url path search bar views dot search bar and name equal to search bar you have to create this path and name equal to search bar i created you can name it anything you want so this is gonna redirect it into this url and this url is gonna redirect it into search bar function now where is the search bar function obviously this is gonna in the views.py so this is my search bar function now in here magic is gonna happen so if request dot method equal to equal to get you got it because we are not extracting password from user we are just getting the search result from user so it is okay to get so search equal to request dot get dot get search we are getting this this name equal to search which is the user search result so whatever i'm gonna write in here let's say i want to write q v this is random character and whenever i'm gonna click on the search bar it is gonna store in this search now we got the q and v now post equal to blog dot objects dot all dot filter title equal to search now i am filtering the title from my models dot pi so this is my models dot pi and in this model you can see i created title post code img file slug category author date and so on so so if user entered character equal to equal to this title so i'm gonna store that title that search in this post and then simply i'm redirected to the search bar dot html and i pass the post which is the query if title equal to equal to search so i want that row that particular row from database so i got nothing because qv is not available in my database but if I add the python in here, let's try. So you can see I got the two result. Now why? Because post return, sorry, this blog.object.all.filter return the two colon, which is the two post. Now this post I just pass in here. And then in the search bar.html, I just use the if post, if post is available. So search result found. And then I just print the i dot slug and i dot title. Now in here you can see I use the a h r e f blog home which is my blog home site slash i dot slug. Slug is the redirected value. You can see whenever I'm gonna click in here, it is gonna redirect it into that particular slug field because I use the slug field in my database. So you can do it whatever you want to do but i use this slug field and because of this slug field it is gonna search that particular post and then i just print the i dot title and i dot snippet and remember i use the for i in post because we have to use the for loop for search the for fetch the database now this is all of because if the post is available but what if the post is not available in our database let's try 
let's try something randomly so this post is not available in my database so whenever i'm gonna click enter nothing found because i use the else condition else nothing found okay and then end if so that's the basic and simple way to create this search bar so that's the short video how you can create this search bar so all of the code available in my all-in-one code.pythonanywhere.com site so if you like this video just like this share this video to other programmer comment me if you miss anything or if you wanna know more about django so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video till then subscribe to my youtube channel hit on the like button hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video Till then, thank you, just called.